Well, um, I've got uh, the Ender 3 here. This is my basic run-of-the-mill Ender 3. Um, it has about six minutes left on this print. And you can see how it's doing. Um, I always like to show video so I don't have to explain how it looks. You can see for yourself how it's printing. Um, again, this is just your basic, uh, you know, run of the mill, nothing fancy, no, you know, no changes to the hot end at all. You can see that for yourself. It's, it's your basic nozzle, uh, your uh, heat sink, your Bowden tube, all the way back to the extruder. Um, as you can see, this is the original extruder. It's uh, the plastic one. Uh, usually, if something goes wrong with that little arm right there, some users tend to change the whole damn thing when in reality they just can keep the body because it's still good. It's, it's designed for this printer so you don't have to do any E-step changes or calibrations or fixing or adjusting or changing anything. You just change the arm and you buy a brand new arm and it's never been installed so it has never been stressed out while it's sitting in the box. So brand new, out of the package, never been stressed on the printer or on the extruder will last for years. I mean, there'd be no reason for it to uh, be stressed out enough to crack. So you keep the body, keep it simple, no changes in anything around the printer, okay? Because it was working before it cracked, it's going to work after, okay? So this is proof, it's the standard body, plastic body, nothing wrong, nothing will ever go wrong with it. Uh, from what I have uh, uh, seen, I mean, even if one out of ten of these might break somewhere up in here or whatever due to abuse, um, you know, that, that can be uh, uh, expected. But this has been on here. I've got six printers. The four of them um, has the original body of the extruder. So I've never need to change anything other than the arm. It's just basic. Okay, so also the reason I mount the holder right here, and some people say, oh, that's ridiculous, and they're wrong, because if I mount the holder here, that allows for direct path right here, you can see for yourself, right into the extruder. Then they say, well, hell, this is going to hit the holder way up here. Look at this. It's got probably eight inches between here and there. This print here will never get that high. So for me, just mount it here on the side. Don't have to deal with, you know, uh, printing, you know, little gizmos or gadgets or guides or, you know, pulleys or whatever. When I can just move it over here, keep it simple, keeps it printing, and this is proof. Okay. When you see the bed, this is the bed. Nothing fancy about it. Okay, it's actually so simple, it, it's, it's easy to troubleshoot if anything goes wrong. Also, just a real quick thing, check it out. Those are the original springs. No way. Yep, there it is. Not the silicone rubber, uh, chunks of rubber. Not the yellow springs. Wow, it's amazing, but there it is. Okay, so no need to change what came in the box, as they say. The bed is not a change in the printer setup, okay? Mechanically, it will always print the same. The bed is a user's choice. If I wanted to print on cardboard, and if it worked, I'd do it. So basically, whatever bed you choose is your decision. It's the user's decision. It doesn't change the mechanics of the printer and how the filament is being pushed out. Okay, so this for me works because it has many, many advantages over the traditional whatever other users are, are using. Because the other ways does not work for me. This works. And the reason I do this, there's another reason which is major for me, because I've never, ever, ever heated the bed. And I can just point that out. I mean, you're a user. You know that this is the set point to the bed. 
right there. Room temperature, nozzle right here is 210. Okay, so this is just proof in the doing that how it's printing right now works. Okay, again, nothing fancy about it. There's no wrap, no brim, no messy ass glue stick. There you go. I, I, I guess there's not much else I can say. Okay, and another advantage to this is the print removal is so easy, it practically need, doesn't need me at all. Okay, so the fact that it holds the print, it's easy removal, the bed's not hot, it's not heated, doesn't need to be, it's a waste of energy, waste of time heating and cooling, because I figured why do it if it's not needed. So in this case, it's not needed. Maybe other people need to do it because, again, I don't know. I don't do it the way other people do it. As you can see, plainly see, users, I call it the user's advantage right here. This is it. I mean, it's almost too easy for the printer. I mean, I don't want to muddle things up, make it complicated for the printer. Oh, there it is. It's done. Yeah, that was quick. I mean, I don't know how much higher I should have went or could have went, but th that was it. This is it. That's the finished print. You can see it start started well, it printed well, and it finished well. There you go. Happy printing.